Hey, welcome back to the Genesis Principle Fine Art. I'm Alton Jones. Today I'm sharing a time lapse video of the Freestyle Farm painting titled How to Paint a Farm in Oil. What you're looking at presently is a video clip of the actual farm. I thought I would include that to give a better understanding of what the property actually looks like. Also, I didn't get a chance to record the early stages of the painting like the grass and things like that in my sketch work. So I've included a few pictures that would give you a better idea or at least will help you to have an understanding of the beginning of the painting process. This piece took me uh, I think 130, 120 to 130 hours to complete and um, excluding varnishing and the sketching stages. Um, beyond that there's a photograph here that I combined two photographs to make one to paint from it's got a grid or uh, it's got a grid over it I didn't use that grid I found it to be very constricting so I didn't use the grid I painted without using that grid I just painted from memory from the photograph and from from the video footages that I took so beyond that, my intro will run and uh, then we'll get into the time lapse video. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already to share my content. And if you genuinely like my videos, please give a like as well. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video.
thought I'd take a minute or two just to kind of share my thoughts on what's taking place present day with this COVID-19. Um, and what I'd like to do really is just reach out and encourage some people or everyone that's going through a hard time with this or finding it really difficult to face the present circumstances as they are. Um, we're living in a time where things are very much uncertain. That's quite obvious. But I just want to encourage you if you're if you're in a position where you're finding it out really difficult to deal with the COVID-19 that you know be thankful that you have life you know be thankful that you have life um, now might not be the best time to tell a person to be thankful some people feel like they don't have anything to be thankful for, for because everything seems to be falling apart and I understand that but as long as you have life you're alive there's hope. There's hope for for a better, for a new start. There's hope for a new beginning in some fashion in your life. And also, these testings, these things are testings, you know. Everything in life that seem to uh, seem to take a negative toll on our lives it, these things are really testings and I'll tell you something I learned from a friend of mine years ago he says that everything in life is a measure is a measuring rod to some degree it's a me it's a measuring rod and the true measure of a person when you're measured by this rod the, the, the measuring rod comes in the form of obstacles and challenges in our lives. And the true measure of a person is not so much the things that they face, the things that they go through, the things that they survive. The true measure of a person is how they handle those things. So while we're dealing with this COVID-19 thing, keep that in mind. The true measure of a person is not what we face in life or what faces us. The true measure of a person, true measure meaning who you really are or what type of a person you really are, what really measures your character or quantifies your character is not so much what you go through or what goes through you or the things that you're faced with or what you face, but it's how you handle them, how we handle the things that we're faced with that really determines the type of a person and character that we are. So I just want to encourage you, um, each day with this COVID-19 thing, I know things seem really uncertain and kind of hopeless, but there is hope. We're not all gone. We're not all annihil annihilated from the planet by this thing. Um, and there's, there's a passage that says, All things come to an end, you know, all things come to come to an end, all things come to pass. Nothing lasts forever in this world. Even this COVID-19, as big and as bad as it may seem, it's going to come to an end and it's going to pass just like all the other things that came that seem like we were never going to be able to get through them. Just like in the United States, I'm living in Canada, but just like in the United States when we had this World Trade Center bombing um, a few years back on 9-11, it just seems like it was the end of the world, like things will never change. But all that's passed and the economy is rebuilding and life goes on. Some people have recovered from the actual accident who were involved in it. Yes, many people died. But they're free from their worries. They're not here to face all the worries that we we're, we have to deal with each day. And life goes on. And still, my, my, my prayers goes out to those family who are mourning loved ones, even from 
but we pick up and we move on in life and that's the beauty of humanity our resilience and our strength to continue so i just want to encourage you you know um just know that you're not going through this alone we're going through this together even though we might not be in the same city in the same state for those who live in states and we might not live in the same country but we all live in one big country and that country is called the world and so we're all going through this together so just remember that and be encouraged you know um you may not feel like it you may feel like you're alone but just know there's people in the parts of the world who love you who you've never met and i'm one of those people and um try to keep a smile on your face even though it's hard and it's a challenge i just want to wish you a blessed day and a good day today and that good thing something nice will happen throughout the course of your day and um thanks for listening and i hope it made a difference in your day and if you have any difficult times that you want to talk to someone and you you got access to the internet drop me a line and i definitely would read them and respond to it if i can do a session where it's just discussing things that people are struggling with in covid-19 i'll try to do a session like that in my painting you know it has nothing to do with painting but um it has to do with life and we're all living life and i'm involved in that so we can definitely talk Thanks for enduring through this time lapse video. It's uh it's a lengthy one um but the actual video runs for over 2 hours almost 3 hours so I thought I'd reduce it down as much as I could and this is the best I could do and still show uh somewhat my process from start to finish in some form um at least the most important parts I think And so yeah this is what it's down to it's uh it's a lengthy one thank you so much for enduring through that and for checking it out and um I've included the painting at the end here uh varnished but not framed varnished and dried but not framed so that you can have a good look at that a a a good look at what it looks like completed and varnished and and dried Um the varnish on this one is a is a custom made varnish. I made this varnish myself. And the purpose of that is to came up with a varnish that reduces a lot of the sheen 
that obstructs and causes difficulty with view. When you're looking at a painting from certain angles, you know, I find a lot of the varnishes, they're quite shiny and it's hard to see. There's a lot of glare. So this varnish is somewhat of a balanced varnish where no matter what angle you're viewing the painting from, you're still able to see very clearly. And so that's what I use on this. It's a custom made varnish. If anyone would like to learn how to, to make that, it's made from about three different chemicals. Just reach out to me, drop me a line and, um, and I'll be able to, to assist you and show you how that's done. Also, I've included at the end there too, the actual painting framed and ready to be delivered to the owners of the Freestyle Farm. And so I thought I'd include that in there so you can take a look at that and see what it looks like. And beyond that, um, thanks again for joining me on this through the journey of this painting of the Freestyle Farm. And I'm Alton Jones again at the Genesis Principal Fine Art. I thank you. I thank you so much. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. To share my content with um, those you are, you are able to share it with, and also to give a like on the videos if you genuinely like the videos. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next painting video. Take care and be safe.